What's up, Internet? My name is Nerdy. And I'm Clarus. And this is episode four of Chainsaw Man. Let's go. It's been a second. Sorry, this is late. We uh, moved, in case you didn't notice. Different place. But we are back, and episode four is going to go up today. Episode five will be up tomorrow, 6 p.m., mm -hmm. like usual, on Tuesday when the new episode comes out. There were people who were like, did you guys drop off because of the boob thing? And oh, no, no. I got to say, that the only time it bothered me was episode two. I actually thought episode three was great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, Yeah, no, we didn't fall off. We uh, had to move apartments unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. that's a lot of work. So um, we kind of um, had to put some of the reactions on hold. Sorry about that. Yeah, we had a live stream actually the morning that this video is going up. Mm -hmm. uh, all about how the last apartment we were living in was literally killing me and that I was very sick. Uh, and I'm not sick now. And that is... Fantastic. It's nice. Shall we get into Chainsaw Man? Let's do it. If you want the full-length reaction, go over to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly and let's get into it. Let's go. Tasty treat. It's a tasty treat, baby. Is she? I thought she was eating ass for a moment. Uh, I think she was. Okay. I don't know. How, I don't know if I can show any of that on YouTube. Uh, probably not. <laughs> God, her hair is doing the work right now of covering them knee ups. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Jesus. How you doing? <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god. Oh, I don't I don't like it. It has like human teeth. Oh wow. Uh Oh, I didn't like the look of that no, thing at all. No, no, that was that was disturbing. <laughs> Jesus. I never wanted a worm to have nipples no, in my life. No. That was not a thing. Somebody said a comment like, uh nerdy, don't you know nerds uh worms actually do have nipples? No, no, that's the um that's the when your girlfriend asks if you would love her if she turned into a worm, that's what she's talking about. <laughs> Yeah, them nips. That's something. Oh no. Interesting. Huh. I hate it. Let's go, Denji. Who needs full chainsaw when you got full chainsaw? Face? This is what I should cosplay at like Comic Con. Just a oh, little just the version. little chainsaw. One hand missing. <laughs> so he must have super strength even when. <laughs> God damn it! He must have super strength even when he's not fully chainsawed up. He's got to have something going on. Let's go, Denji. <laughs> Aren't there like a bunch of like demon hunters in this city? I'm assuming they're on the way, but like. <laughs> Let's go, Denji! <laughs> I don't know that you want to swallow someone who has a literal chainsaw for a head. I feel like it would be uncomfortable, yeah. Wow, that looked really good. This guy, dexterity is wild. His dex is like full like 20 plus 5. Oh my god, he's about to kill her with the innards of her lover. 
His constitution is pretty incredible too, though. <laughs> Seriously. His dumb stat is intelligence because he didn't go to school. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that was horrible. Demoniacal. <laughs> God, it would smell so bad. いただきもう。こう。ああ。あ、ファックスだ。こいつは昼の悪魔だね。飲み込んでいい。よし。メイスフォロー。<笑> You're such a child. Children don't do that. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> so wait, Hakiwawa has... He, he can summon a ghost wolf head? Uh, yeah? He briefed? I, th I think they need a hospital, dude. A little bit. Also, Denji had like a full like tongue stab through his middle and uh, he's still intact, which is pretty impressive. But Chita heals him from anything. It's a good snack. She literally just betrayed you. Yeah. ちのまじんに殺されそうになっただろ。デンジ。さあ、どうでしたかな。デンジゲタンですけど、よく見れば公安の服を着ていたし、お礼を言いたくて。いたにいみ、but <笑> Hakiwawa using this to get a little bit more control over him is, is is smart. Yeah. But also he's too valuable an asset not to keep around, right? Yeah, especially for this like special team. He's clearly willing to fight the devils. Mm -hmm. He gives it his all. That's a lie. <laughs> he's gonna grow to be very fond of them. Yeah. And then I'm gonna cry when something happens at the end of the show. It's like I've watched an anime before. What? Makama's definitely evil, though. I'm She's calling a, it. Yeah. Konkai was Shishamo de Masen de Stashi. Kekatoste Akuma Nita no Kujamo de Kimastakara. Bakari Masta. Fair. Is Shoni Sunder Ekio Kana? Masako. Nani Mokawa denoidesio. Not at all. No. Ah, uh, he's so stubborn, but I kind of, like, I'm going to really love him. Yeah. Like, he would complain about it, but he would help you move, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he wouldn't take the free pizza at the end. He'd be like, no, I'm, I'm on a vegetable-only diet this week. Oh, man, his hair's down. What a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty fine man. The water, that was fun. Yeah, I, I feel like the show's doing some really creative stuff with... Reflection. They're using yeah. reflections in a really beautiful way in the artwork. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I feel like the show keeps looking better episode over episode. I yeah, I will agree with that. Like that's really cool to use the pour over in that way, and like I, I just think it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Also, you know this outfit is my favorite Hakiwawa outfit because goddamn, that looks comfy. Hey, Denji managed to keep the jam on the plate this time. That's he's, he's growing. Character development, you guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Oh my god, he must be fucking this livid. Is the cruelest 
もう死ぬじゃんおい俺の最強だぞ Thank God おはい That poor boy 野菜は嫌いじゃはい人参<笑>野菜を投げるなてめえ、野菜作った農家に It's like having two maniacal dangerous children クソはたまにしか流さん派じゃウロはたまにしか入らん派じゃ入れ<笑> Oh this my god a goddamn nightmare <笑> Even Denji's like,、yeah. no, you go too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Denji did not have a bath until a week ago. It's true. Shit, though. Denji, please wash your hands first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a neat trick. I need to learn that one. <laughs> I love the music change. Oh my god. I really hope he passes out immediately. <laughs> 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 From top knot! <laughs> Gratefully. <laughs> oh my god. That, that music was the funniest part of that. That. That was the whole episode? I guess so. Alright. That was so aggressive. I feel a little bit better about that being the whole episode, knowing we get another one tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah also, yeah, the fight with、that. the Leech Devil was so freaking good. Yeah. That well, looked fucking good. One、awesome. of the things that we talked about before was that, like, oh, Denji just seems to be able to, like, do everything real easy, you know? Um, <clears> like, <throat> he, if he has enough blood in him, but if he's out of blood, like,、what? I like that they've they've now set the limitation on him, yeah, and he's still pretty capable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's still, he's still like a、uh, incredible, like, a warrior, I guess. I don't know, he's just suddenly able to, um, well, no, but to, to be fair, he was fighting devils without powers. For years now, right? True. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. it isn't. I, I think that what's interesting about this is that they've set up that he was a devil hunter who just literally held a dog. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he was able to do it that way. So now he's, he's just got more powers. And it, it makes sense to me. I、yeah. think what's so effective about it, though, is by setting this limitation on him, there are now stakes in fights. Yeah. Like, there is a point where Denji will run out of Chainsaw and. It just, it just makes fighting more interesting.、Now. I I, I 100% agree.、Um, I think that that's what, that was just the the one little like step that the show needed.、Mm-hmm. And, yeah, yeah. you know, they're shorter episodes. So it, we got that in episode four. And it makes total sense to me. Yeah. I, this, this episode was weirdly structured.、Um, this show actually kind of reminds me of Alias.、Uh, oh, really? Yeah. The spy show. Because they would, Alias was interestingly structured in that plots would always stop at the end. In the middle of between episodes. And so every episode would like start finishing the last mission、mm-hmm. and then leave off on the cliffhanger in the middle of the next mission. Yeah.、Uh, and so it kept you coming back each week because you were like, oh my God. Well, I gotta. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.、Um, I, I feel like this, ep- this show has kind of done that a little bit, not every episode, but a little bit here with finishing off the fight from last week at the beginning. Yeah. And then doing what would typically in television be the beginning of the episode stuff, which is the like more home stuff. Because、uh, the, the show doesn't really build to a, a climax, really, other、mm-hmm. than obviously Denji probably creams his pants, but.、Um, probably. Pro- let's be real. Yeah. yeah, yeah.、Uh, and so I think that, I, I think that the, the structure of the show has been, that they've been playing with structure a lot in an interesting way,、mm-hmm. but also telling a story that I think is,、um, is really good. I, I thought there was a lot of really solid character work here, and I, I like the way in which Denji is very pro consent. Because we were, we were worried in episode two, is like, is this going, is there going to be a consent? Is it going to be muddled? Yeah, that's my, not the case. My concern was that he was going to try and like trick and manipulate his way into like groping somebody without them agreeing to it. And I don't think that that it just wasn't made super clear because 
it was only 20 minutes long, right? And so... Uh, well, and there was like, no... The, and because there was no reason to, for him to, like, have to say more because yeah. he wasn't talking to anyone about it. Yeah. It wasn't until he talked to someone else. And, and that's why I was yeah. like... I'm going to keep watching, and I, I, I wasn't, like, mad at the episode then. I was just like, I don't want this to go down that road, and it didn't. And the road that they're going down is great. I yeah. think that Denji's goal of, like, touching a boob, while base, which the show comments on, right? And yeah, oh, yeah. It helps that the show comments on it. Yeah. And the show has characters being like, this is really, that's what you want, dude? Yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. like, yeah. And you're like... Well, okay then, yeah. As, if you're going to go about it this way, yeah. where you're, you, she's like, you saved my life, you can touch my boobs. I'm kind of like, yeah, okay. I've had women let me touch their boobs for far less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, um, I, I don't know. I just, I, I, I thought that it was kind of beautiful. I like Power a lot. I think she's the most interesting character on the show to me. Yeah. And, you know, in, in a world of devils and fiends... The, 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 the superpower characters are always going to be more interesting to me. Yeah. Because... What is it like to be a fiend who has to work with humans or else you're going to die? Like, she's such an interesting character. And and what is it like to have this, like, thirst for blood and to kill everything and mm-hmm. find love with this cat? You know what I mean? Like, like what does that mean you for her? You feel seen. <laughs> I do. I feel you seen. You love to murder humans. <laughs> yeah. Um, you humans are the worst, but cats are forever. Use your... Never mind. I'm not going to make that joke. Um, wow. <laughs> no, she's great. I agree. I I love her. I honestly think I might get myself a cosplay for LA Comic Con. Yeah, I um, I think that I have to stop calling him Haki Wawawa, even though I love Haki Wawawa, but his name is Aki. No. Ha, ha. No, but his first name is Aki. Hayakawa. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. As much as I like Haki Wawawa, which I just think is very funny, uh, Aki Haki... You, you said it. You had a book. Aki Hayakawa yeah. is... A really important character in the show mm-hmm. because he's playing straight man among these three like very larger than life insanities yeah. in Makima who is the, she she seems normal but she's there's there's some she's thing there yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Denji who's a nut job uh, the most lovable nut job mm-hmm. and honestly like his growth already as a character is so huge like I'm yeah. really impressed with how far they've progressed him in just four episodes well but, but having power. power to play against him in, mm-hmm. in in that way has been so smart like yeah. power coming to live with them and him being like no 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 this is too much and you're like oh it's it's it helps the characters be like self-reflective and kind of speed that like growth process because they're mm-hmm. like they're confronted with something um, that they have to, um, like, that they have to figure out. Yeah, and I also think Denji's just, he's, he is becoming comfortable mm-hmm. and realizing that he can stay comfortable if he just does his job. Yeah. And I think that that's, a, that's an interesting story to tell. I think that a lot of people would just, you know, we live in a, we live in a time where, like, shit's rough right now. It's, mm-hmm. it's hard. You know, inflation's crazy and things are getting tougher out there for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And I think that there's a real story of, like, a lot of people don't want to be millionaires or billionaires. They'd love to be, but a lot of people really just want to be comfortable. Yeah. And I think that Denji becomes so relatable to me when I realize that. When I'm like, he, he really, he doesn't have massive goals. He doesn't want to be the greatest devil of hunter of all time. He mm-hmm. he doesn't have some dream of like world peace that he, he can't affect. Yeah. He just wants to have a really delicious piece of toast in the morning and touch a boob. Mm-hmm. And he wants that every day so that, you know, he's he's not hungry and he's yeah. clean. And I, I just, I find w- the way that they've transitioned him from being this character that I'm like, ooh, this is rough. Yeah. To, oh, I totally get him yeah. so quickly. I think is a really commendable to the writers of the the, the original manga and, and the show for translating that to the show. For sure. I'm really impressed by it. They've done an incredible job. And I think with, like, subject material that is difficult, especially in translation, right? Because. Mm-hmm. It's never going to be perfect just because of foul languages work, right? Yeah. Um, and, and because this is, like, in a sense, sensitive subject matter, I like, agree. you know, like, the sexual stuff, the boobs touching, like, that can come across a certain way very easily. And I think that they've done such a good job of, like, it, it, Denji just has these, like, goals that, and he, like, yeah, like, they're small and we're going to comment on it, but, like, it's about the little things and Mm -hmm. he's not yeah like you said he doesn't have these crazy big dreams it's just it's just going on with life and being comfortable and happy he's also a maniac who uses the innards of the leech devil's lover to trip her up i was like that's cold 
That is a cold maneuver, my dude, but it yeah. looked great. Yeah. The combat, it, this show's cool. It's so freaking cool. I get why people were like, "You guys, you just just watch the show. It's going to be a big thing." Oh yeah. Because it's yeah. it's rad. Like yeah. it's so fun. The music selection is always great. Yeah. And the music selection for the action and the music selection for comedy are mm-hmm. equally good, but very different. But also feel like they're part of the same world. Yeah. Like they, they've threaded this needle of tone really well, especially in the last two episodes, which I think are significantly stronger than the first two. Um, just because the first two were burdened with a lot of kind of weird exposition. Well, there was, we had to get the backstory out of the way. We mm-hmm. had to know who Denji was yeah. so that we could watch him become who he's going to be. So, But the last episodes have really been about seeing these characters who I, I'm growing to love really fast, mm-hmm. interacting with one another. And even though the action is so good, even though there's like beautiful shots and, you, you know, we commented about like how gorgeous the animation of the pour over coffee is and things like yeah. that. Uh, it, this show is so grounded in its relationships between its characters, mm-hmm. even though they're very tense relationships and poor Aki has to live with these two monsters. Um, the, the great people, but like, I, I don't want them in my house. I want to go to work and see them from nine to five. And then I want to go home and not. Yeah. yeah like yeah. Aki is, I, I feel so bad for the boy, yeah. but the, the, the show is so much about how they interact with one each other. And that is the only way to make this kind of show work because if it's just about the action if it's just about the boobs if it's just about those things then you get tired of it it just feels like okay cool yeah that that action scene was fun but i don't really care about anybody this show is like you're going to care about the characters first Mm -hmm. and then you're going to be surprised at how much fun you're having with the action yeah and that is what that that's like the best kind of storytelling in my opinion yeah Mm -hmm. um you know and we just saw it with house of the dragon right where there's five or six episodes of season one where there's almost no action. Mm. When there is action, you care about those people and it's freaking awesome. Yeah. And I think the show's doing a similar thing, even though it definitely has more action in it. And I think it's, I, I think it's rad. I just, I think it's, this is really good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very, I'm very impressed. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with episode five. So that's exciting. Yeah. Uh, not tomorrow for us, but tomorrow for y'all. Uh, <laughs> welcome to our new space. This is not done. If you have any recommendations for stuff we should put on the walls and stuff in here, let us know. Because we don't have enough anime crap. We have all this like Star Wars, Pokemon. I guess Pokemon's technically anime, but um, if you got, if you've got any ideas, we're yeah. lo- we're looking for the right Pochita plushie. So if you know of like a really good Pochita plushie, yeah, link it. Pl- let please. us know. Yeah, 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 I want one. So it's so I really, cute. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So cute. I want one that's like six feet that I can like cuddle on. You know that big Snorlax. Or um, Pokemon just released a new Arcanine that's like five feet long. Oh my god, I know. I want it so bad. Um, and we have Dangerous. room now. Uh, if you want to follow us on the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clarice Polaris. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the dislike button. Leave mean comments down below. Do all the things because the algorithm god, she's hungry. And we must feed her. Mm-hmm. This uh, week that algorithm goddess is probably going to be the leech devil. I was going to say the leech devil. Mm-hmm. Y- you need a lot of calories to keep. Those giant titties plump. Um, her nipples are like 10 feet long. I know. That was impressive. And her arms are like 40 feet long. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was, I was, I'm not gonna lie. I was waiting for them to be like, oh, all you want to do is touch a titty? Well, I've got six. And yeah. she didn't do that. And I'm grateful for it. Thank you. <laughs> do Thank something you. nerdy tonight, y'all. Bye. Bye.